Hey guys, it's me, a little surfetched, and welcome back to the Pokemon Storm Silver post game Nuzlocke. This is like episode 12. Man, we've been speeding through this series. I knew I'd speed through this series, so that's why I decided that each episode's going to be like uploaded as soon as it could be. So, yeah, in this episode, we are headed down to the Cinnabar Island and the Seafoam Islands down here to go take on the 7th Gym. And my team has gotten a little bit of training. I got everyone level 85, so we should be good to go. Because I don't know what level this gym's going to be at. I'm going to guess maybe around level 68 maybe would be the highest Pokemon. But I'd say definitely Blue's team is going to be very high level. That's the one I'm worried about, is Blue's team. Actually, no, I want to switch over to Lugia because you've got the amulet coin. Everyone here has got a held item. We already got our encounter here. I should have grabbed a stupid Max Repel. What is wrong with me? I should have picked up some Max Repels. I know I have some, but the, like, two I have are not going to last me the entire trip. The one I have is not going to last me the entire trip. I don't want to give it to a Pokemon. Hello. Yeah, I'd rather battle. Because battling's fun. Do go go go. Because, like, seeing the fact that these trainers are already, what, level 64? I don't think that the gym level is the highest is going to be 64. I bet it's going to be, like, near 70, probably, like, 68, 69, somewhere around there. I've never fought a gym level that difficultly, difficultly giant. I was playing Pokemon Snap earlier today, you know, the new Pokemon Snap, and I had the game beaten, so I got to encounter some mythical Pokemon. I found out how to encounter Mew and Jirachi, so I was happy. Um, I already knew how to encounter Shaman because I found that out while trying to research Meganium's pal. Basically, you can encounter Shaman in the Illumina level of the first island. Yeah, you don't even have to beat the game to do that. It's, like, accessible as soon as you, like, get to level 2, I think, of that area. So Shaman just already exists in my Pokedex. Or my Photodex. Is this Cameron... Heck yeah, Cameron's gonna take a picture of us. I love all these photo ops. Lugia, you're blocking Mr. King. And Rotom. That's like not allowed. That is not allowed, Lugia. How could you do such a thing? How could you do such a mean thing? We'll fight. We'll fight some trainers, but I don't need to fight all these trainers. Oh yeah, and I was also this earlier today playing Pokemon Go because I play Pokemon Go like every single day. Because why wouldn't you? And I got a shiny Jigglypuff, a shiny that I've been wanting in the game. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Is that halfway? Oh, yes it is. Oh, it's more. Oh, that's a crit. Nice. I got a crit. Wow, this is... what Something's gotta be over here. I have no idea what could be over here, but something's gotta be on this little place. Oh, dowsing machine. Oh, okay. I forgot how you worked this thing. I thought you had to click, but you have to 
watch the uh, do this. It's one of the most confusing dowsing machines. Uh, is there something over here too? Yes. Ooh, Stardust, another one. That's cool. Anything else? No. Okay, we can leave now. I think I'll have to go to another area if I want to acquire some items, but at least if I get to Cinnabar Island, I can fly there, and then I can fly back to, like, Viridian City to get some items. But as long as I make it to the Cinnabar Islands, I should be able to fly there. That's my plan, at least. And I'm just trying to think of what Pokemon Mr. Uh, Blaine is going to have? His name's Blaine, right? He's definitely going to have Magmar. Or Ma Magmordar. And uh, the other one that he usually has, Rapidash. But that's like the only two that I know he has. So as for the other three, the other ones that I he's supposed to have, I'm definitely not looking it up right now. Actually, I have to focus on this battle. I'm definitely not looking it up right now. Ah, oh, so he has Macargo, huh? So he's gonna have Macargo. That's my guess is. See, Blue here already has a full team, so I'm wondering if he's going to have the same team or something different. I hope it's the same team, because then I know what I'm facing at least, but... If it's not the same team, I'm going to be scared, because his team, I have it pulled up here, uh, definitely not because I was looking for Blaine's team, but... I have it pulled up here as Executor, Machamp, Arcanine, Rhydon, Gyarados, and Pidgeot. Oh, this is soothing. Oh, I love this music. Ah, it's soothing. I like how this is the only gym that has moved to a different location, mostly because of a natural disaster. Like, no other gym, I think, has moved to town. Some gym towns have lost their gyms, such as in the Black and White 2 games, like, some towns don't have gyms anymore, but... Uh, mostly the gyms have never really moved to town. Or an area. Thanks a lot about the town of Cinnabar. You know, every Tuesday morning he sits on the site where Cinnabar Gym once was and contemplates. You know, I wonder if anyone died in the explosion. I feel like an explosion like that couldn't have gone without at least one or two casualties. My name's Blue. I was once the Kanto champion. Although it was short to live thanks to Red. Anyway, take a good look around you. The volcano erupts, and just like that, a whole town disappears. We can go on winning and losing in Pokemon, but if nature so much as twitches, we could be overwhelmed in a second. That's the way it is, but anyway, I'm still a trainer. If I see a strong opponent, it makes me want to battle. If you want to battle me, for real, show me how many Kanto badges you've got. Six. You're not ready to battle me. Fine, I will get the other badge, and then I'll fight you next time, okay? But, I, I'm busy... T t flying over to Viridian. So this is like the only place that we're gonna have as like a stomping ground for uh, the gym, because so I don't think we can fly to the Seafoam Islands. I want to pick up some repels actually while I'm here. Because the, the repel did last me the whole trip, I lied. But I do want some more. No. Let's get yeah, let's get ten. 
And then the rest of my money I have here we can use exclusively on five full restores. That's exactly what I didn't want, because I thought I had more money, but I guess I didn't have more money. Let's go to a new place. Well, back to where we literally just were two minutes, less than two minutes ago. And now, we can face the next gym leader, but I want to see what this sounds like in this. This is still as relaxing as it is in the normal sound. The 8-bit sound is still as relaxing. This game has a good soundtrack, I'm just gonna say it. This game has an amazing soundtrack in some places. I don't want to leave. This, this place sounds so soothing. I might just, like, find the name of this tune. Okay, so this is Cinnabar Island. I can get Encounter here. If there is Pokemon, you can Encounter here. Uh, hold on, I'll actually check the, uh, little document here. That's the wrong place. It's probably near the end, isn't it? Uh, oh, there's Mount Silver. We get to head to Mount Silver in this series, I can't wait. Um... That's Cerulean Cave. That's Breedian Forest. That's the Seafoam Island. Okay. Hmm, Tentacool, Tentacruel, and Relicant. Um, literally the only thing that we can catch here that isn't a duplicate is Relicant. And I don't care, so let's leave. Uh, what about Route 20, actually? I should get an encounter here while I'm here. Uh, Route 20. Tentacool, Wingle, Teleport. No. Quit giving me terrible Pokemon. Okay, fine. Uh, nothing here is a duplicate. Everything here is a duplicate except for Whale Lord, and I don't care. And I already had a repel, and that's why I wasn't getting any encounters apparently. Well, isn't that a little embarrassing? Found it. A trainer I can enjoy fighting. Oh really? But do you like losing, Bert? Because you're about to lose. No one named Bert is gonna beat me. Or anyone with any name is gonna beat me because I'm the best and I don't lose Pokemon anymore. I definitely did lose a Parasect in between episodes the other time because I was trying to grind it up for a t Pokemon that I can save other Pokemon. I can use to catch other Pokemon. I definitely didn't do that. Don't. Don't look at the last episode where I said that. Because I didn't. You have no proof. Okay, I haven't lost Pokemon in a video in so long. And now that's gonna make me worried because I probably just jinxed this episode. This is episode 12, which would be three episodes since... The last three episodes, even though I didn't lose Pokemon in those three episodes, it's still three episodes since then. I want to get a sharp beak or something for Lugia instead of the, uh, what is this, the coin? Ancient coin? Amulet coin. I couldn't think of the name of the item for a second. Because as much as I do like the amulet coin, and it's useful... Uh, it it kind of gets Lugia over leveled because I want to use it. And plus, it doesn't help Lugia whatsoever. Speaking of this, can we just commemorate me on the fact that I've kept Luke, Brock 2.0, and Lugia alive the entire series? This entire series, I've kept those three alive. The other ones, they definitely 
did not survive. We've had some casualties in this series, but, like, these three Pokemon here, I have kept alive since episode one of the post-game Nuzlocke. And I've never done that before. I don't think a Pokemon... Well, I guess, technically, my Feraligator did survive a lot of the series last time, but then died, like, very later on. But I've never had half my team still be alive. Because my team always sucks. My team always sucks and I eventually lose. Ow, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt a little bit. No, it's just not, actually. What am I worried about? Hi, your defense fell. Get defeated. You can't beat me. I am so much better than you. Get defeated, Ernie. Wait a second. There was Bert, and now there's Ernie. Wait a second. Sesame Street has crossed over into Pokemon. That is from Sesame Street, right? It's been a while since I've seen that series. I know it's like still going on, and I'm surprised it is because literally it's like since 1960. I'm pretty sure it is the longest running show that is on the air currently. That's like still airing new episodes. Which, that is crazy. If they, if they can... If they can keep going for... Almost, for basically over 60 years now, like, they're, they've got to be doing something right. Like, if they can last for 60 years... Almost 61... Like, something... They've got to be doing something right. Because I'm pretty sure that legitimately is the longest running television show in history. I don't know how, don't ask me how, because I literally have not watched it in a long time, because I don't really care for it. I'm not a big fan of it, but I will say, you're doing something amazing, Sesame Street. This isn't sponsored, but hey. Lugia, you're facing the wrong way. Let me actually see if I was right about that. Uh, no, it's been running since 1969. So, not exactly 60 years, but it's been running for a long time. It's got 4,500 episodes. Are you kidding me? 50 seasons? Okay, when I looked a little while ago, I thought it only said a thousand, but it's had 4,500 episodes. How? What are they doing? Like, what are they doing to keep this show alive? My mind is blown. I've never been so confused. Oh, nobody can so confused about anything. So, like, I underestimated, I overestimated how long they've been on, but I underestimated how many episodes they had. Hello, this gym has many trainers and rocks in the way from the rebuilding, which won't be easy to get to playing, but keep your cool and defeat trainers one by one, you'll surely find a path. Are you sure about that, though? Okay. That's cool. Oh yeah, I forgot. These, you have to go up to them and just like, Hey, what's up? I want to fight you. Because you're cool. Yeah, this dude's going to have like level 68 Pokemon. Because this guy already has level 65. Blaine, you're 
You're scaring me, man. We're almost finished with the series, though. We've got the next gym episode. We get to fight Red. And we also get to fight the Elite Four again. Because I know they're going to have a better team this time around. It's going to be... They got maybe like three or four episodes left, I'd say, at the most. Wait, what? You're telling me that they're adding Mega Altaria to Pokemon Go in tomorrow's Community Day? What? Wait a second. Why am I not using Lugia? He's got water moves. Granted, so Tad here actually has the thing that boosts water moves, but you know... We lost the gym on Zimbabwe Island, and we felt lost before we came here. Yeah, I'd be upset, too, if a volcano exploded in the island I was literally standing on, probably. Probably watch the helpless deaths of some of my friends who didn't make it off the island in time. And now, the gym leader just is kind of still forcing you to stay around and be a gym trainer. So, you know, it's just... Unless you're doing it to honor your fallen friends. Unless you're staying a gym leader to honor your friends who didn't make it off of the island. That's pretty nice, actually. That's pretty... That's pretty... That's pretty noble of you guys. You might not want to be a gym trainer anymore because you lost everything that you loved, including your friends, but hey, it's to honor your friends who didn't make it. There's some things beautiful. And that's a thing that's beautiful. We take a step back when we are defeated. Don't you think we are done our honest? You no know, putting in the same category as scientists who are bad guys. Yay, they did absolutely nothing. I'm so glad. I'm so glad you could be helpful, man. I know I just sat here kind of contemplating as to why you're still working at the gym despite the island exploding, but... You know, you didn't have to not be my friend. I thought we were cool. I thought we were cool. And then you do that to me? It's not right, man. Friends don't treat each other like that. And that's why I defeated your Pokemon, because we're not friends. Oh! Well, some friends, they do defeat each other's Pokemon. I mean, I've fought in my friend and his Pokemon before. We had metronome battles. If you don't know what a metronome battle is, basically... It's battle where your only move is metronome. So, basically, every move that you use is random. And you could die... You could die from an explosion, but that's the fun of it. You don't know if you will. You don't know if you'll die from an explosion. And that is the fun part. It's not really the fun part, because it kind of makes you worried the whole battle, because you could lose one Pokemon almost immediately because you explode. But, it's fine. It's fine. You still got more. It's fine. Don't worry. You don't have to worry. We still got more Pokemon. You're not gonna lose the battle. Even though you probably will, because literally losing one Pokemon to explosion is kind of a big deal in metronome battles, but it's fine. It's fine. Because you're, he's still there in spirit, but not there in battle, because he's dead.
and he can't be brought back. Even if I had a move that could possibly bring him back, he couldn't. Because I don't have a move that can bring him back, because I only have Metronome. <laughs> you know, I'm wondering if one of these times maybe a gym trainer is going to have a shiny. I don't know if it's possible to code that in. But it'd be cool to find a shiny. Just taking on the gym leader and all of a sudden, boom, shiny camera up. Just, just thrown out. Like, honestly, I'd be surprised. That would also make the episode... It'd be the moment of the episode. We already saw the shiny last time, but it was level zero and also could not be caught. Or it'd probably crash the game. But... It's fine. Who in the world are you? Uh, man, I have 14 gym badges. I don't... I don't think you should test me. I have 14 gym badges, and I'm about to have a 15th one. So I think you should be staying away from me. And just let me fight Blaine so I can get out of here. Without fighting any more trainers and hurting their Pokemon, because... My Pokemon are too strong. But, you know, it's fine that my Pokemon are too strong. Okay, I literally lost a Pokemon almost every episode last series. So, we're not gonna talk. We're not gonna, we're not gonna talk about my Pokemon being too strong, okay? I don't wanna hear any word about it. You're not the one that lost almost his entire team multiple times throughout the series, and felt like they wanted to quit at least multiple different episodes, and was hoping that one of the final episodes, my team would just get taken out, and I wouldn't have to do this series anymore. That wasn't you, that was me. Let's fight the gym leader. Hello, plane. Hey, you. My gym on Cinnabar Island was a... Burned down by the oh, Okay, that's a little dark. It was literally burned down. So did you actually lose anyone? But I will not give up. Take a look at this cave. We have turned it into a gym, and I am a st and I am still acting as a gym leader. I will give you the gym badge if you manage to defeat me. Are you ready? Here we go. This is Blaine. The final, probably not hard gym leader. You know before. Blue. Blue's gonna destroy us. Blue's definitely gonna have, like, maybe level 75 Pokemon. That's what I'm guessing. He's gonna have 75. We're still gonna have Pokemon that are higher level, but still. I feel like Red's gonna have a level 100 team. I don't know if I could even check that. But, like, I'm I'm having a feeling that his team's going to be level 100. And I don't like that feeling because it's scary. It's scary. No, how could you do this? How could you do this to me? Good thing I have a Mystic Water and the best water move in the game that isn't Hydro Cannon. Because I can't get that move on this. Ow! That's not gonna kill. That's not gonna kill. It's not gonna kill! We're good. But he's gonna heal. Can we get the sunlight out of here? That's gotta be a- yeah, that's gotta be a crit. Okay. There is no way that was. I was gonna say, like, that was doing more damage than I thought it was. I was like, either somehow Bubble Beam was doing more despite the fact that it literally has less attack power? Or 
it was a crit. It was a crit. Oh, you're gonna have a camera up, you say? It's not shiny, so I'm disappointed. You disappoint me, Blaine. Wait, shoot. Oh no! Oh no. I think in Generation 4, if a Pokemon's ability activates the weather, I don't think it ever goes away. Oh no! I think that's a thing in Generation 4, is that the weather doesn't go away if a Pokemon's ability activates it until you switch it with a move or ability. So, I'm at a deficit this entire battle. That's pretty cool. I'm so happy. Luckily, I have Mr. King here. Who's apparently going to carry us to victory. No, are you kidding me? Just die, Arcanine. Just leave me be. I'm already at a large deficit in this battle because someone decided to put drought on their Pokemon plane. Magmortar. Let's do it. Can I get the lucky? Horn drill kill. No. Ow, ow, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. Oh no 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 What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I have to kill this thing. If only I had something that resisted it that would do good damage, but... Oh no! Lugia, you've gotta live this. You've gotta live this. Lugia, please! Mr. King is gone. What am I gonna do? I lost the Pokemon! <laughs> if I tried to use Horn Trill, my spirit has not been defeated. My Pokemon has. Isn't that just swell? Awesome, I have burned out. Take this volcano badge. So now what? Uh, wait a second. Can I get another moonstone? Dang it, that's the second. That is the second Nidal King that has died. And now... Mr. King is caught. You see, this right here is an example of why you shouldn't brag before taking on a gym. Because the game is just going to make you hate everything for the rest of time. This is why you shouldn't brag. Bragging is not okay. Don't do it. I am a prime example of why you shouldn't do it. So let's go activate Blue's battle and then end out the episode and we're gonna have to get another team member. I'm gonna have to train up one of my Pokemon that's in the PC here. If you wanna battle me for real, come to the Viridian Gym.
I'll be waiting for you. Okay, I'm gonna go to the gym next time. Um... Mr. King 2.0 has been on the series for a long time now. <sighs> Feels like we're losing such an important Pokemon. <sighs> Just... I want you to take a look. Just, just take a look at the team, like, all the good Pokemon we've lost here. We lost a Shiny. We lost a Shiny. We lost literally one of my favorite starter Pokemon. We lost my favorite starter Pokemon's evolved form. We lost my favorite Route 1 bird that you can get at this time. We've lost three starters. In like we somehow won despite we lost two shinies. We've lost two shinies. Let's not forget that. And we lost Riley. That was a sad loss. And now we've lost Mr. King. This is sad. This is depressing. We lost the spirit too. He's supposed to have no weaknesses. <sighs> Luckily. I do have Pokemon here that are high level that I can train. But I'm I'm just upset. I'm just really upset. I'm just really upset. So that's it for this episode. Next time I guess Mrs. Queen will join the match. Exciting. But that'll have to be for next time. We lost our team today. Well, we lost a member of our team today. And we'll never forget him. It's gonna take a long time for training to get another team member back. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.